Hi, I'm Bill Robertson. I'm with Mettler Toledo's Process Analytics Division. And today we are gonna be demonstrating how to integrate an Ethernet IP four channel M800 transmitter from Mettler Toledo into a Rockwell controller. Hello, I'm John Hatzis. I'm a technology consultant with Rockwell and I'm gonna be piloting the demonstration with Studio 5000 Logics Designer. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the EDS hardware installation tool to install the Mettler Toledo EDS file. So there's a couple prompts. I'll go to register an EDS file. I'll browse through, pick my file. So this is just a file on my computer. The, the installation test results passed, so I'm able to add the file to my library. I'll pick an icon for it. Pick a Metler Toledo instrument. I'll hit next, and then I'll register the file. I was able to successfully do that. So the next step is, is that I'll bring up my program in Studio 5000, and then I'll download to the controller. This is pretty easy to do. You just download your normal um, method. All right, we were able to download to the controller and I'm gonna switch back to run mode. And then now that I'm online with the controller and I have my EDS file installed, I can add the M800 instrument to my IO configuration. So I'm going to do that through discover modules. And then I'm able to automatically populate the instrument into my module discovery window. And then I'm able to go through and create the module. So then that brings up the module properties window. And all I have to do is give the instrument a name and then uh, give it a specific module definition. So I'm going through and I'm gonna select the four channel block module connection. Click apply and okay. And I've successfully integrated the in instrument into my Logix process controller. We've now integrated the data from the Mettler Toledo Ethernet IP M800 into the Rockwell controller, such that the variable on channel one, conductivity, is displaying both locally at the transmitter and on the Rockwell controller. The variable for channel two, which is pH, I currently have immersed in just tap water from the sink. I am now going to immerse it in a carbonated soda. So you will be able to see in real time, both locally at the controller and on the Rockwell system, the pH drop from seven down to three. Same thing on channel three, I have another conductivity probe. And on channel four, I have our dissolved ozone probe. In addition to the four primary variables that the Ethernet IP M800 can bring back, it also has the capability to bring back two pulse flow inputs. So any volumetric flow meter that has a pulse output, we can take one of those on channel five and one of those on channel six. And again, we have the green light indication indicating all the communication is going well, both locally at the instrument and through the Rockwell system. Thank you.